Hello my quarantine friends, today I'm going to take a look at a CPU cooler, an air cooler to be exact, that more or less is just as good as the legendary and highly praised Noctua NHD15, but significantly cheaper, at least over here in Europe. And certainly some of you will prefer the more modern looks here, thanks to the ARGB lighting, which at the end of the day has nothing to do with performance and simply is a matter of preference. In today's spotlight, therefore, is the one and only so-called Scythe Mugen 5 ARGB+. Yes, many tend to pronounce it Mugen, and I did too in the past, but it's actually a Japanese word meaning infinite and is correctly pronounced Mugen. Well, minus my horrible Japanese pronunciation. But whatever, not the point of today's video. It seems even Scythe, usually known for more minimalistic designs, recently slowly tends to implement more and more RGB lighting on their products. Apparently, this is what sells these days. At the time of making this video, at least over here in Europe, this Scythe cooler can be found for about 69 euros. I don't know about the US pricing, I didn't really find it yet, but I believe 69 euros would translate into roughly 75 US dollars, more or less. In terms of performance, this cooler easily can go against the Noctua NHD15. That one, however, doesn't cost like $75, but $90, sometimes even a little more. Furthermore, another thing that should be taken into account is the actual size of the cooler. While I haven't filmed these two models side by side for you, I'll put the dimensions on screen for you. So today we could be looking at a pretty kick-ass high-end CPU cooler that can seriously compete with other high-end and solutions while costing less. Things already look good judging by what's included. The previous RGB cooler by Scythe, it was the Kotetsu Mark II, the tough version, if I recall correctly. Yeah, it didn't come with a controller for the lighting. It wasn't the end of the world, but it did bother me a little bit, especially since many people just plan to upgrade to a better cooler and don't want to get a brand new ARGB motherboard along with it just to make use of the lighting features. So hats off to Scythe now for fixing this. The controller comes equipped with small magnets, meaning you could neatly tuck it away somewhere in the case without having it hang somewhere inconvenient. As we're used to from Scythe, high quality mounting hardware, a little bit of thermal paste, as well as a neat screwdriver. A Y fan cable is also included and the fans do actually make a very solid impression. To battle vibration noise, they come with these rubber pads. The fans, as well as the actual heatsink with the illuminated top cover, come with standard 3-pin ARGB connectors. Furthermore, each and every connector comes with another one, so we can easily extend our lighting configuration. Neat. The heatsink itself, as you may have noticed, is asymmetrical, so we don't run into any clearance issues with our memory. We are talking of some really good quality, by the way, something that not only can be seen, but felt right away. Depending on the PC build, what could bother some of you is that cable for the ARGB top that's dangling off the heatsink. It doesn't bother me, but I just wanted to point it out for you. Other than that, the Mugen 5 in its ARGB Plus version does look nice if you're asking me. Sure, not all of you will be into so much lighting, because this really is in your face, one could say, but it's a welcome change in the CPU cooler market. In general, there aren't many high-end air coolers that stand out from the masses. We are of course dealing with a nickel plated copper base and six heat pipes. As for the sockets, the usual Intel and AMD ones are being supported. Due to the standard sized base, AMD Threadripper as so often is not supported though. The installation went completely hassle free and can be completed in just a few minutes. Also mounting hardware all out of metal. Since we are dealing with a fairly compact high end cooler, it doesn't really come as a surprise we don't run into any clearance or compatibility issues with RAM. All four DIMM slots can be occupied in my case, as you can see. So what does this eye-catchy air cooler actually bring to the table performance wise and what about the fan noise? It was all tested with an overclocked Intel i7 7700K followed by the AMD Ryzen 7 3800X.
to sum things up, it can definitely be said the Mugen 5A RGB Plus by Scythe easily competes with the top tier air coolers out there. The Noctua and HD15, as well as Deepcool's Beastly Assassin 3, just got some serious competition. The three coolers pretty much go neck and neck, while Scythe does apply some pressure price wise. Because the Scythe cooler not only delivers comparable performance, but also is fairly quiet in operation, at least when configured correctly. Unfortunately, I don't have the possibilities for precise measurement when it comes to noise levels, neither the room or chamber, nor any measurement devices. So I'll have to stick with my bare ears, they'll have to do the judging. I'd say today's Mugen 5 ARGB Plus is somewhere in the middle between the Deepcool Assassin 3 and Noctua NHD 15 in terms of noise levels. At idle, no cooler can be considered noisy nowadays. They're pretty much inaudible. At full load though, these case flex fans by Scythe, maxing out at roughly 1500 RPM, certainly end up being audible, but never did I get annoyed. So we are talking of noise levels slightly over Noctua's fans and a little quieter than those by Deepcool. The highlight that's being offered us here, no question, is the very good price to performance ratio. For 69 euros, or I don't know, $75, we get cooling performance matching those of the legendary coolers with a great balanced noise level in my opinion. On top of that, we get some very eye-catchy addressable RGB lighting, not the lazy type of lighting by just slapping on illuminated fans, but actually an illuminated heatsink as well. If you're asking me, Scythe has done a really good job with their Mugen 5A RGB+. It's been a while since they released a cooler this good. Price performance ratio is looking great. Now I would have loved mentioning some negative stuff here too, but I didn't really find anything that would make sense mentioning. But maybe you see a few things differently. If so, let me know down below in the comments. And with that said, thanks for watching, take care of yourselves and please don't get sick.